I had the honour of being one of his last interviews on Monday night on Newsnight, and I presented him with um, a copy of the first edition of Friedrich von Hayek's Road to Serfdom. And I said, this is from all your victims. And the, the, the reality is that I've grown up, and I'm sure you have too, in a world in which when you want to find out what's really going on in, in politics, you have to see Newsnight and you have to see Jeremy Paxman. And I, I've said to him flat out that if when he leaves Newsnight, which he is tonight, isn't it? When he leaves Newsnight, the world is going to change in terms of the analysis of politics. Because there is nobody, they're all marvellous people at the BBC, but there's nobody quite like him in terms of his ability to analyse what's really going on. So I, all, all through my earliest years, I've been understanding politics through Jeremy Paxman's interviews and through um, understanding the difference in his um, mood and his, his questioning style. I think he's completely remarkable. and um, He's going to leave a colossal vacuum for me. And what should, he, what should he do next? What's the best job for Jeremy Paxman after 25 years at Newsnight? I think he could do anything. He's a wonderful, he's a wonderful writer. He's obviously, um, he loves writing. And I, I guess he's going to do a lot of that. But I think he could do anything. He's a, he's a highly intelligent man, which is why he's able to conduct interviews in the way that he does. That's a, that, that ability is not luck. It's not sort of show business. It's a consequence of real intellect and also real study. Um, whenever he's interviewed me, I found he knows, he knows the subject absolutely backwards. Mm. So this is going to leave a huge vacuum.